Hello, they're here, and we are back with Part of Violence. Okay, there... There seems no... To be an indication that this is the definite definition? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is the definite definition, but yes, this is Part of Violence. Definitive edition. We are going to play through the game again. Because... Yeah, there's additional content in it. Unfortunately, I did some testing, and apparently the previous game, the original version, doesn't carry over the, what do you call it, story that we have already passed. So we cannot skip any of the current game story that we might have seen already, which is unfortunate, but we could just come through really fast, I guess, but... Still, it, 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 it's it's kind of annoying in that part, but other than that, good. Let's start playing the game, shall we? Start. Let's check what improvement they put in the game. Over two decades ago, the Kersari Sai wrote me a recommendation for an up and coming international security ag agency. Ah. At the time, I was overjoyed just to be in, on track. Get into growing field early, do good science while the fire of invention are still hot, then dip out with distinction before the call goes cold. Okay, in case you're wondering why I'm using this model, by the way, it's because uh, this model, with some tweaking obviously, is much more lighter than the other model I'm using, and it's needed because I noticed that in this game, uh, back then, there was some demanding, CPU demanding stuff happening, so yeah. But is they I well let's put it this way. The first time my name showed up as a footnote in a cybernetic textbooks, I called my parents and I invited my friend to dinner at my favorite restaurant. Half a year ago when I got right up in the East Coast Medicine Review, I didn't even open the copy they sent me. So when Iris announced her retirement, I assumed that her NU was a little more advanced than my own. Yeah. It was a nice party. She was surrounded by friends and co-workers, loaded by her peers and praised by her subordinates. And yet the whole time she looked hollow. I wonder why. Fear of retirement, I theorize. Is it though? I couldn't have been further from the truth. Stop the organization I dedicated my life to has always been at the forefront of cybernetics. The bleeding edge, some would say. We took the risk, but it was for the greater good, and we were grateful to every volunteer and veteran, veteran that assisted us. But now they're pushing all the wrong boundaries. Taking science, my science, in a cruel narrow direction that I cannot abide. Uh-huh, we have those papers back then, and you again, hello there. Hi! Because my efforts of my research are being used to experiment on children. I can't fathom how stop go got so far out of hand, but I can find out. Why did he I? I'm not power powerless, and the architect behind these new programs aren't fools. Oh, is that so? If I can pr present a proper case against this, show them the pain hidden between the numbers and the suffering they are whitewashing over in pursuit of percentage points, I have hope that things can still be made right. Oh yeah, but that hope is dwindling. Yep, dwindling really fast, isn't it? I thought I granted peace to the world with my research. But, yeah, maybe all I did was read the new Nero. Indeed. Sorry for messaging you at this hour. Couldn't sleep. Having a second, folks? No. My transfer has already been approved. Next Monday, I'm entering the Youth Training and Development Initiative as a supervisor, but... But? I receive work with stop longer than a half. Can you tell me anything about else about the YTEI? Nothing that help me sleep. Well, that's reassuring. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe this is happening. Stuff full of scientists not... Good scientists follow the science wherever it leads, right? And I recall a brilliant researcher concluding years ago that the younger the patient, the better the cybernetic thing rate. 
That research was intended for stop agents. Volunteer heroes, if you prefer. Not anyone under 18. Well, the higher ups would beg to differ. They tell you that they providing tr this training is with an education and a guaranteed future. Where than I or near, right? I didn't want this to be my legacy, Iris. Where's the greater good in grafting dangerous tech into children? Yeah, into slapping a fucking katana into someone's hand. <laughs> What's the good in that? Replacing someone's hand with a katana? When stuff was founded, that good was clear. Back when the world was in turmoil and cybernetics were getting slapped into terrorists and madmen in vet clinics and garage. Stop put an end, an end to that. We put a stop to that. Uh -huh. And then we kept going so it wouldn't happen again. Like I said, it's not the best topic on the conversation if you are looking to put your mind at ease. But do try to get some rest anyway, Deidre. From the sounds of it, you have a long week ahead of you. I'll do my best. Yeah. May 13, 2007 next. That's an interesting edition. Usually it was just a screen that is dark and black. Okay, still the same background, which is rather uncanny, not gonna lie. It's just too, what do you call it? Simplistic, I guess, with the background. My honest first impression, this is beautiful. Natural light recalls through versus glass enveloping the courtyard below in a warm soft glow. It just doesn't match the whole feeling of the game. From the bridge I'm on, I can even see green. Grass, flower, trees, an oasis for natural beauty full of life. And full of loving children. That's better. I can help but wonder if I made a wrong turn. Is there? No, those are not people down there. I think it was people. It was just a vending machine. I don't know if you all can see that though. I hope you all can see that because I was blocking the screen. Maybe if I move my mother a little bit. Wait, actually you all can see that, right? Yeah. There aren't any surgical scrubs or hospital gowns. And the air smells clean. Not disinfected. But inevitably, my eyes are drawn towards the touring column that pieces the building center. It's a dark monument, one with two doors and a window and a very heavy shadow. My skin prickles. What purpose could... Not lost already, are you? My train of thugs grim path is cut short by a familiar husky voice. Same dialogue. Angie, hello. Angie, it's wonderful to see you again. Angie Tan. Same to you, Deidre. As usual, Angie is formal, but I recognize the warmth in her words. Do you? It's been a long time since we've talked face to face. For sure. I didn't think we get to work together again. But not every career path is a straight line, right? No, definitely not. Happy as I am to be working with you, I was surprised to learn that you wanted to transfer here. Yeah, that's a shock to us. <laughs> Alice took you off as married to the craft of cybernetics and nothing else. I was going to say squeamish. I suppose there's more to me than meet the eyes. I suppose there is. I understand you're planning to write a case study on the work we are doing here at the YTDI. Funny. You've always been more, been more interested in theory than application. Then again, you have always been a pioneer as well. I mean, it's a new program based on my research. Why wouldn't I observe it? Oh no, I think it's fantastic having you of all people here. Going out of your way to help us improve the YTDI, that's a dream come true for all of us. Is it? In fact... No. I don't want to get too deep into discussion on your first day. Your time's valuable, so... How about I give you a tour? Oh. Well, I did request one, but you don't have- No, trust me! There's a lot here, more than we can co could cover in one day. But we should be able to go over the basics. Basics. Place, permission, practice standards. That sort of thing. And who better to help you find your footing than an old college? Alright, alright. Where to first? Awesome! I'm not a professional tour guide, but I say the courtyard will be the place. Best. 
Best place to start. Lead the way. Alright. So far, same, I guess. I don't know, unless there's a minor dark difference. So that's why there's so much greenery. Of course! We want our trainees to be as health healthy as possible, both physically and mentally. And while it might be hard to see the benefits on of an on M what? On an MRI, being around trees and plants really does the wonder for the brain. For instance, several observational studies have shown a uh, no Angie, I believe you. Actually I think I feel it myself. We installed it all for the trainees. That's Angie. And you see, but if it helps to stay, the staff stay sane as well, that's a nice bonus. That reminds me, you should see- That reminds me, you should see the costume too. This is kinda gonna using, and I hope being improved, if it is. Because sometimes I don't know which one is talking. So we'll take the stairs, and go through the doors. Oh, after you, of course. And if we just go down this hallway. Still the same white background. Interesting. Ah, oh, class. We are here. Bit of a walk, isn't it? Must be easy to get lost. Hum? I suppose. But you get used to it. Anyway, this is where the trainees get educated. Oh. And what does that involve? Well, we've got all the core essentials. Math, literacy, self defense, and physical ed. Pardon? Physical education. No, I mean. Self defense. Hmm? Oh, don't make that face. It's not that serious. Gym mats and padded gloves and whatnot. At our age, the train school didn't hurt each other even if they tried. And did they ever try to hit, hurt each other? But what about the future, hmm? Yeah. The world's a dangerous place. Oh, indeed it is. Our train is now better than... that better than most their age. The earlier we teach them how to protect themselves, the better off they'll be. I... I suppose you're right. But it's not how school works in the reals. The train is get to do fun stuff, do you? I mean, we passed an art craft and center just a moment ago. You shall see some of the stuff they make there. We might have the next Marth Rocco or Agnes Martin on our hands. I don't recognize any of those. Am I covering text? I probably am. No, I'm not actually. That's cool. That's amazing. I don't know if I know who these people are. Not, 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 not. Fine art never was a favorite subject of mine. Well, I'll have to check it another time. Yeah, you ought to. Maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. You want to observe her training for your case study, correct? Yes, that's right. What do you ask? Well, have you got a class going on right now? She'll be a literacy at this time of day. You're suggesting I choose my case study subject right now. Could you give me a much better idea of what we do, seeing how the trainees actually go about it there? Oh wait, that, 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 sorry, that's the wrong turn. Could you get... Could give you a much better idea of what we do, seeing how about seeing how the trainees actually go about their day. Um. Yes. Come on, look over here. Don't worry, they won't notice us. Are you sure about that? They are all preoccupied preoccupied with Are they? Writing exercise it looks like. This is a classroom. I've been in medical libraries with more noise. Well, they have Arnie. You can thank the core curriculum designers for that. Our trains are showing a 34% increase in memory rotation compared to the same age control group, short and long term. That's very impressive. Isn't it? The bell could be ringing right now and they'd still be glued to their work. If this were any other education program, they'll all be fiddling with our fine liners, glaring at the clock, doodling in the margins. 
like the child over there. <laughs> Abel. Right, that one. He's a bit of an outlier, statistically. Really? But I thought your curriculum was... Well, it's not 100% effective. Sometimes you'll get stragglers. But we don't have beha them behind. All they need is a little extra motivation. There, the teacher's already taken notice. I thought... <laughs> Uh, you know, every time I hear motivation, I just rem get reminded of Five Nights at Freddy, like the control shock. It'd give them a little motivation and press a fucking control shock button. He's taking him in the front of the classroom. Is he... Is he being yelled at? Yelled at? The teacher might be raising their voice. But... Hold... Okay, not but. Hold on, why are the other children going out with him? They didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's the extra motivation I was talking about. And we're back here. Hello, you two. All the new trainees get it, get sorted into squadrons. Squadrons. Like soldiers. Like birds, I say. They're close-knit. We expect... It's squadron to fly at roughly the same pace, so if one member underperforms, the entire group is made aware of it. And it all looks a little inflexible, but they're better learning off this thing, this blah, 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 rules early. I'm not sure that. Hello, Pavel. Smile. Hmm. He. He smiled at me. Oh. They are supposed to stand perfectly still for a full five minutes, so that's another extra five minutes. Scythe might have to refocus. I've made my decision. Oh, good. So which rainy? I want that boy to be my subject. Oh. And why him specifically? I can give a concrete answer. I suppose I'm going with my gut. That's not very scientific. Then why don't we call it an intuitive choice made by one of the world's leading cybernetic researchers? I remember this dialogues, all of this. Right. But as I said, that particular trainee is something of a statistical outlier. Then taking a closer look at him should help us correct any inefficiencies in the program now. I suppose I can argue with that. Yeah, totally. NG, NG, NG. You cannot even see that you're, all, you're at fault here, huh? Interesting. Alright. Alrighty. These are his quarters. You're certain this is the one you want to use for your case study? Again. I've made my decision, NG. Right, right. Just wanted to confirm. Trainee CO458. Could you come here, please? I want to introduce you to someone. Oh, yeah. She is a visitor. One just for you. Huh? Huh? A visitor? A visitor? <laughs> Try to be quick though. She's a very busy lady with a lot to get done today. Huh? A visitors? Pavel. Oh! Wait a minute. Here the lady is in class. Indeed she is. What's S4174 doing behind you? She wanted to come, so I let her. What a good friend you are. But it's a meeting just for you, CO458. So, S4174, you're free to... Is... Is that big... That big of a deal, Angie? I don't think there's any harm in meeting his... Remain! Right. Then why don't you introduce yourself to the lady? Well, allow me... Please okay, try to keep it short. We only have so much time. Nice 
Nice to meet ya. I'm Pavel. Hello, Pavel. Well, most of the people here only call me CO458. Mm hmm. A serial number. Standard procedure. It's how we keep data collection unbiased. Hmm. Plus, the first class has like three MS and four queens, so. R right. What about you, lady? What's your name? Well, um. Hey, Angie, how shall I respond? I never worked with children before. Is this new? You can give him your name, no big deal. The train is like to call me Dr. Angie. Got it. Then you can call me Dr. Daedra if you want. Dr. Daedra? Dr. Daedra. Daedra. Dr. Daedra. Hey. That's a nice name. Has anyone ever told you that? No. Um, recently. Hello, Shri. Oh! You wanna introduce yourself to you? Yeah. I wonder if the definitive edition will reveal something that I suspect in the original edition, but probably not. I don't know. Well, the floor's all yours! H Hello. I am. Shreya. You got a Shree? Look, Dr. Daedra is waving to you! Hi! <laughs> Run. Hey. Shree is my roommate. Normally we just stick together. If I'm around, chances are she is too. I... I see. Are you too close? Oh, we are besties! We never go anywhere without each other. Um, except for class. I wish we were in different squads. Hey, D. Yes, Angie. Hi. Sorry to butt in, but... Hey, hey, but... I'm afraid we don't have all the time in the world. Unless you want to skip out on the research labs for a day. No, no, I do, I do want to see them. Let me just wrap up here. It's... It's lovely to meet you, C458. Starting next week, I'll be interviewing you. In... Interviewing me? About what? Oh wait, I gotta pause a little bit. BRB. Okay, I just ate lunch, so yeah, we can continue right now. About what? To be honest, I haven't quite decided yet. But I think I'd like to talk about your hobbies. Your classmates. Your future. Lots of things like that. Oh! I can do that! But I'm confused. Why me? That's a good question. Because I picked you specifically. And why did you pick me spe spe specifically? That's the word. Well, um, you stood out in class. I saw you and I thought you'd be interesting to talk to. Makes sense. My teacher says, says I'm like a dandelion in a field full of roses. Uh, hello? Yes? D d did you call? That's one way of putting it. But wait, what about... Your friend. I promise she won't be alone for long. Once I'm done talking with you, you can go back to... Back to, um... What do kids do these days? I haven't been around them in so long. Back to playing. Did I guess right? Oh, thank god. <laughs> Sound reasonable? Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> yeah! It's Whoa. a deal. It's a deal. I'm trying to copy the voice as, as good as I can. Uh huh. It is at night at YTDI, and what are we doing? Probably still talking to Angie. There we go, Angie. Sorry if I rush you a bit back there. I realize I might have come across as grouchy earlier. It's just. 
We've all been working a lot of hours lately. It wears on you, you know. Oh no, Angie, it's fine. Not like I was much better in the past. Oh god, don't remind me. When you were taking a lead on artificial spleen development, it was like you were in a trance. If I gave you one little tap on the shoulder, you snap up like a cobra on a rake. Yes, I remember how you put it. Those were long days. By the time we pushed through, I never wanted to see another culture sample as long as I live. <laughs> here, here. Sanji, about us research labs. Right, right. From here, the Vester's Road will be. We are walking. And we arrive at the research part. Yes, no. Case study report. 513-2007. Initial supervisor report. Supervisor report. So it had been advertised as a youth education program. It is now my understanding that the purpose of the Youth Training and Development Initiative is to prepare its trainee for cybernetic enhancement and eventual empl employment within staff. While it is known that biotech and coronation rate are inversely correlated to age, the side effects on individuals below the age of 18 are not fully understood at this time and may be more severe than they would be on an adult mind and body. Furthermore, I have ethical concerns about the pros of this program, the program and how its participants are selected. As a supervisor, it is my intent to observe the YTDI operation and ensure that the health and well-being of its trainees are being properly upheld. As part of my duties, I intend on engaging in a focus case study of trainee C0458 to observe its development under the YTDS curriculum. For compliance purposes, our one-on-one -on -one conversations will be recorded. Dr. Day draw the strange. Okay. Oh. June 13, 2007. P. Yes. Oh, this is new. So there's a guide now. Use your mouse to explore the desk, they draw desk. When your cursor changes, you know, make the thing glass, you can interact with something. What will you learn about Dr. Strange? Why is the thing beeping? We can click on that? We can... Ah! Now they make it more linear, huh? We can click on other things. Intro, they address report. Once they address case studies finished, she will send these documents to stop higher up. She hopes her finding will shut the YTDI down. <laughs> yeah. Case study report. 6-12-2007. This report marks the one month point of training CO458 case study. In this time, I have observed several facets of the YTD operation and now believe that I have firm grasp of the day to day activities of, his, of the trainees. The majority of trainees selected for the YTDI come from orphanage. Open air rifle at the YTDI trainees are spread in the squad similar to the one utilized by stop field agents. Formal education takes place entirely within the, the squads and involves tuition in literacy, mathematics, self defense, etc. Outside of the classroom, trainees have access to several extracurricular activities, including craft work, sports and, video ga sports, and video games. While these activities are beneficial for fostering bonds and growth within children, I find it notable that they overlap with activities undertaken by stop operatives in the recovery period after the implementation of new cybernetics. This includes subbing for high eye coordination, video games for reaction speed, etc. The sense of care appears to be at least sufficient. CO45 had expressed that it is a significant improvement over his prefer previous lodgings. Still, I have some questions to raise with Dr. Tan later. later. Dr. Daedra the Strange. Uh-uh-uh, that's how you- uh, how they get you. Daedra. They argue that it is better for everyone. Daedra's day Diary. Intro. Like many academics, Daedra talks about herself and the world around her. This is where she writes that. June 6, 2007. Part of me just wanted my thugs to blow with my wind. Putting them to paper will have to do for now. Besides, all the blue light was making my eyes ache. The trainees are all orphans. I'm not surprised. But I am surprised that the YTDI isn't much different from a standard boarding school. Militaristic dressing side. Compared to how stop first few batches of field ag agents were housed, the accommodation here are downward, downward, down, what? Downright luxurious. 
cell that's combining volunteer soldiers to abandon children. A strange analogy to pull it mildly. And for some reason, the training meals consist of lab script and only lab script. Why? It's true that lab script contains all the nutri nutrition they need to grow healthy and strong, but it is intended for typical in view of a test subject. And since the size of the budget the stop works with, they can definitely afford to feed this year in real food. Well, why don't you put it in the report? That's interesting. Unless the education is world class. Clearly, stop spending was put to good use there. One time, Angie took me to a literacy lesson. Out of the blue, she asked a trainee to recite part of King Lear, and the guard belted it out like it was on switch. I don't know how useful that skill was, but it was definitely impressive. Another time, the two of us watched a teacher talk a squadron filled pharmacy in the courtyard. If someone in this mushroom, how would you counteract its effect with only the items near bags? How long do they have before their airways close? It was intense to say the least. At times, the cheer question felt more like threats. <laughs> but the building itself is immaculate. Uh, stop coping! Oh my god. Frankly, Sparky. Daedra keeps coping around like, uh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. In my shoes track door as I walk in, it's wiped away by the time I walk out. Even sub headquarters doesn't agonize over cleanliness to this extent. I just wish they showed that much care for their trainees themselves. Like that boy, CO458. For formal reasons, I can mention it in recording session, but I know his name is Pavel. Was taking his name necessary? Are they that concerned about observer bias? He's an orphan. His name might be the only thing his parents ever gave him. Why scrub it away like something dirty? a stain to be removed. The boy is lonely too. Yes, he has Shreya, but she isn't part of his squadron. He pre his pre-assigned social group. His squad might exclude him outside of class. They don't let him play with them, so co 458 is often in the arts and craft center, sewing or knitting by himself. That's why we have a lot of sewing and knitting and uh, malviolence. And it's not much better in class. Kids roll their eyes when he's paired up with them for a group task. Sometimes they'll go behind his back and ask the teacher if we can serve for anyone else. Thankfully, the teachers never concede to co 458 squad mates, but it hasn't stopped them from asking anyway. I think a lot of this could be solved if the kids weren't pit pitted against one another. All the trainees have their hobbies, but co 458 doesn't have much else. I know he likes superheroes, so I'll bring him some comics from the YTDS library. Knowing stuff, I suspect these books are vetted, but there's still a chance I might find something that'll make him smile. Maybe I could even use it to teach him. It certainly doesn't seem like any of his actual teachers are interested in personalizing the learning experience. Oh, I also buy, bought a pack of stickers for him. The children his age think script stickers are cool. What am I doing? I'm not a child psychologist. Couldn't even qualify as a pedi pediatrician. I will jump into deep and with this case study tonight. If I were a senior stop staff, I'd probably be sacked by now. Maybe grape is lame. Maybe orange is the way to go. God, I don't know anymore. Guess there's only one way to find out. D. Yeah, indeed. Ah. Dick? That, that, that next? Okay then. Intro Daedra's computer, an old PC maintained with love. Why? This is where Daedra kept recorded interviews for her case study. Interview with Co458. C0 actually, that's not CO. June 12, 2007. Hello, Pavel. Having a Hello, joyous dance, are you? I've started recording. Uh oh. Before you fall over from all that wiggling. <laughs> Yay! I'm just super excited. I'm glad to hear that. Mm hmm. But, um, you can relax. We we're just talking today. Really? Feel. Magics are known for all that greening. I can imagine. In fact, I think I did the same thing in my school photos. You did? I guess so. So I stopped because 
Well, it made me look like a dork. You're a dork. <laughs> God damn it. That's pretty harsh. How do you? You still can do. Um. Okay. Have Have you ever been called something like that before? A dork. No, never. Well, maybe a few times. But the other kids don't know anything, so it's their loss. What don't they know? That when I grow up, I'm gonna be super famous and super pretty, and I'm gonna have a billion friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, about that. I'll cross my fingers for you. Anyways, we are starting to fear off topic, and I only have so much time, so... They also changed the text to yellow, which is interesting. I think they, they changed the text, but I'm not sure, actually. So why don't you... Can I ask you some things? Okay. What do you want to know? For the DM, I have three questions. Okay, so. Okay. I'm ready to go. Great. Then let me just get my papers out. There we go. First question. How did you come to join the YTDI? Um, what do you mean? I mean, before you became a trainee. Where did you leave? Um... I live in an orphanage. Oh, oh. And what was that like? Um, I don't remember much, but it was pretty lonely. There were many others there. No, there was a whole bunch of us, but we shared rooms and beds and that also tension. So you aren't treated as an individual. Um, yeah, it wasn't. A lot of us ran around and it was pretty noisy, but I was always bored. When it wasn't mealtime, school time or short time, I was stuck in the common room with most of the others. And because we had to share so much, we fought all the time. Really? Yeah. Like, one time I wanted to play with the scrattle board, but another girl said I couldn't have it because all I did was trace the board grid with my fingers. So I said to her, No, uh, that's how you play scrattle. And then she said, You're always doing stuff wrong. And then I made a face at her. And then she pulled my hair. And then, I'm assuming you both got in trouble. Yeah? Yeah. I scratched her and she started crying. So I got punished. I found her I found her real book later. She was right. I was playing the wrong game. I said sorry, but But the way I played was fun too. Interesting. How are you pick for the YTDI? You seem different from the other train needs. At least compared to the others in your squadron. I don't know. One day these people in white clothes came to the orphanage. They didn't want to play or talk or anything. They just watched us for a week or so. Then this loud person told me and a bunch of other kids that we had a fight. Fright? Ah oh, yeah. I mean a bright future ahead of us. And then they brought us here. You must have come from a world away, huh? I didn't think so. I fell asleep on the bus because I couldn't sleep the night before. But when I, we got here, it wasn't even lunchtime. I... I see. Let's move into the next question. Are you getting along with your squadron? Well, we're all supposed to get along with our squadron. I guess that lines up with Angie, what Angie told me. But um, it's okay. You can be honest with me. Okay. Most of my squad mates are bowling apple polishers. They hate me just cause the teacher get mad at me and make us stay in class for an extra 10 minutes. It's not my fault class is dull. And it's not like me to do a star boarding anyone. Did you know any of your squad mates back at orphanage? No. For some reason I was put in a different squad from everyone else I knew. Squad sorting must be done randomly. Trying to avoid press stabilization social grouping. Sorry, just had to jot something down. What about your roommate? 
What do you think of her? Primate. Human tree? Well, she's really quiet most of the time. But once you get to know her, she's really smart and kind. And most importantly, she's my best friend. Um, you told me that when you introduced her to me. Yep. She's also my first friend. And I guess my only one. When the class is done, we talk about whatever we want and do things together. Oh, and she teaches me all kind of stuff. Tutoring. Like a few weeks ago. The hair. She taught me how to do my hair. Huh. So that's why you have a hair band there. That's only two pieces of hair, that's okay. Mm-hmm. I wear it all the time now. Is there anything else you do together? Um, filling in coloring books, playing Mary Mac or Sailor Moon C. Oh, and we read. So, uh, Shiri is way better than me at it. Like, way better. I heard the teacher say she was reading two level ahead of the rest of her squad. Wow. That's genuinely impressive. I know, right? She's so cool. Which brings me to my third and final question. When Shuria's not around, what do you like doing in your spare time? Sewing and knitting. When it's break time, I go to the art and scarf room and make stuff. So far, I've made a placement and a headband. And a scarf. I can show you them someday if you want. Maybe another time. Okay. Just let me know when you change your mind. Actually, there's one more thing I like doing. But it just says it's not proper. And that is? Shoot. The words right on the tip of my tongue. And it begins with L and... Losing. Is it literature? Yeah, that's one. Anyways, I like reading comics. There's a lot of less word than Shuria's book, but they are filled with cool pictures. I wish my art was that cool. Well, you know what they say, right? Practice makes perfect. If you keep going, you'll get where you need to be. No, 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 no. It's not pr practice make perfects. It's consistent consistency. Yeah, that's the word of it. Rather than uh, practice for like eight hours, just be consistent every day and you'll get results. That's basically what it is. Heh, <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. That's why I do in class. So I can get good fast. Is there anything else you enjoy doing? Well, there's a lot of stuff I want to try, but class and homework always in the way. Play. I'm sorry. I hope we can get more free time in the future. Yeah, me too. So that's all the questions I had. I think I'm comfortable stopping here. Stop. <laughs> huh? You're leaving already? Scythe, so yes, I'm afraid I'm still playing catch up with work. Playing? No, no, um, you know how you have your classes and then. Oh, I get it. You've got a homework too, huh? You seems like a very busy lady, Dr. Daedra. More so than usual. But I should have enough time to dig out my scrail board. You have a scrail board? I do right in my basement. Or was it in storage? Either way, I'll find it. And we can play it in whichever way you want. Really? Um. You shouldn't underestimate me, though. You're talking to a Skrudel champion. Or, um, an ex-champion. It's been a bit since I've last played. Wow! A Skrudel champion! I really do have to go now. But here. Please take this. Consider it a thank you of sorts. <laughs> Grape Seeker! What? What is this? It's a special kind of sticker. If you scratch it. Ah! It smells like grapes! Yeah, it sure does. Is it, um, cool? Thank you, Dr. Deidre. And, um, thank you for talking with me. I'll see you next week, yes? Keep bringing in awesome stuff like this, and I'll talk to you every day! Yeah. Every day, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to do? Oh, phone? Okay then.
Dr. Deidre... Deidre's phone. Sometimes Deidre need Iris to lend her an ear. As Deidre's former supervisor, what advice can Iris give her? Okay. That craft center was nice. I mean, that's got to be a good sign, right? A good sign and a good thing are different matters. Come on, help me out here. Help isn't what you're texting me for, is it? Besides, I'm a lot more concerned about the militaristic conditions you have reported. That can change. Oh, really? Yet every time you critic some part of the white DI, the curse hand seems to resist. And she's always, always been pretty rigid. She's not a bad person. She is not? Wow. Just very bad books. Dr. Tan is an associate director. She's been around for so long that she writes the book. No one's forcing her to stay where she is. I could have easily been in her shoes, Iris. Not with her scruples. I never worked directly with Tan, but I know her reputation. She's got a severe complex. That's dangerous. What? She just wants to help people. I'm sure she believes that, but she works in cybernetics. And when you're holding a hammer, everything looks like a nail. You haven't seen her with the trainees. Every time we pass by a group of them, she smiles and waves. Ask how they are doing. And they give her the biggest, sweetest smiles back. They didn't do that to any of the other researchers. Mm -hmm. I wonder why, huh? Deidre. She's my friend Iris. You're one of the brightest people I know. Maybe the best of your generation. So why are you looking away from the truth? You see the lab script, the classrooms, the panopticon. You don't out on your trust. Or anyone else at stop for the matter. They gave in their stem of appro approval for all of this and it smells rotten. We can heal that rot. If you say so. Okay. I just want to Want to have faith in the college and friends I've worked with for years. We've made the world the safest it's been in decades. So I'm positive that things will get better. Angie included. Even a genius can change the mind of someone who's not listening. That's why the case study needs to go on. I will make them all listen. Right. Anything else you wanted to discuss? You didn't, you know, the trainee I choose to work with for my case study? C0458? I brought him a grape sticker, sent a sticker the other day. He loved it. Well then, I take back what I said. Sounds like it all, it's all rosy over there. Huh. June 13, 2007X Ah! I feel like this is new? I don't know. The... What do you call it? The color filter. From the bridge, I gaze below the, at the courtyard. As the sun begins to set, it begins softly thin the white DA walls and floors a pale orange. It's comforting. Even the black pill of the pillar in the center of the room looks warmer than usual. Yep, some temperature change. Warm. I never thought I'd see the white DA that way. It's world apart from my first impression of it one month ago. 30 days of observing classes, conducting interview interviews and writing notes, and they felt like seconds. I wonder if it's my age. The older I've grown, the quicker time passes. Summer, fall, winter, spring. All of it's passing by while I... Yes? Musing over impending mortality won't get me anywhere. But the YTA really does look warm right now. If there weren't other people in the building, I could go down the ground floor and take a nap in the grass. Right now, I'm sure some other trainees are doing the same. Are they? Children shouldn't have cybernetics. Or lab script diets. The dual ITDA is an affront to my research. Any sane person would agree with me. Yeah, indeed. Any sane person. That's why I'm doing everything I can to shut it down behind the backs of the people who run this program. 
But can I but I can object to giving children unwanted children a home, an education, a guaranteed future. <laughs> really? Wow. That's interesting. I love a guaranteed future where I lost one or two of my legs and maybe an arm and maybe my eyes and maybe my head. Hmm. I love a home where I'm basically living in a prison and I love education where it's basically just trained to make me a soldier. They don't have to hunt for scraps or wake up each morning and search for shelter over their heads. As long as they stay here, the way they... D. Once again, NG voice cuts my thoughts short. Did I entrap something? You're looking pretty kind of lady. No, it's nothing. Could have fooled me. Am I that easy to read, NG? Far from it. I need a lot of practice. Ah. Guess you had a plenty of opportunities to do so. So what can I do for you? Oh, it's nothing work-related. Not like I have training info to give you anyways. I just wanted to catch a chance to catch up. You've been here for what, a month now? Hmm, what you look at that? One month, exactly. Lucky guess. You wanna take a stroll? They say walking talking gets the blood flowing. Talking gets the blood flowing. More than sitting here staring at nothing. Yeah, true. Come on! We've got a lot to catch up, don't we? Indeed. We've got a lot of catch up. We begin to walk around the bridge perimeter. Our pace is slow, aimless, lazy even. And our conversation is just as meandering. I don't know what that means. See any films lately? Any takeout place you recommend? Hey, no modern art nor your thing, but I think you enjoyed a new exhibit, and if you don't, you can pick where we have dinner next time. I don't know who's talking here. As we chat, my whole body relaxes. It was like this in the beginning, waiting outside of stop here at quarter, excited to take in NG out for our pre-weekend burgers and milkshakes. Mmm, burgers. We were young and the world didn't make sense, but our work always did. Hey, D. D. I hear NG calling my name. I hear NG calling my name and my mind snaps back into focus. Is something wrong? No, nothing. I was just wondering if you're ready to... You know, bring up what was going on earlier. Oh. That. No pressure. If you're not up to it, no I am. I just need a moment. Take all the time you need. I take a breath to think about how to approach this. Actually, can I ask you a question? As a friend. Go ahead. I'm all ears. No, you're not. Hm? You are not at all. Why did you end up working for the YTDI? Hum? That's a big question. That's a big question indeed. It's one that's been on my mind a lot lately. You saw that classified file, yeah? Pardon me. The one with the so How do you know that? A disgruntled employee blew up at us a few months back. Save a bunch of files I got out, out of context and try to shove them out to anyone who would listen. This was around when you were first curious about the YTDI, right? Yes. 
People ask me if I know about it. Of course, at the time I didn't have the full picture. Uh huh. You know, this animal rights group. The ones with the ridiculous PR teams. Anyone is under regrets for dissecting rats. Blast the web with offer saturated gory photos, sensationalized blog posts, social media campaigns. The works. Cherry pick their information to make normal scientists look vile and make themselves better hero looks heroic. But the lab researchers care for those animals like they wear their own pants. The piles of paperwork, elaborate onboarding procedures, frequent inspections on their welfare. Even on a practical level, they discourage their suffering. There aren't any rats at the sex the NG. Of course not. Just wanted to make an analogy. Oh, that's a horrible analogy, Angie. You know, people like exaggerating things and all that. Okay. Then I apologize for. No, no, I'm glad you pointed it out. Don't want you to take anything I said the wrong way. Um. You were gonna tell me about why you joined the YTDI? Right. We went off topic, didn't we? Everyone has the bright, right, the right to a bright future. Most of the trainees don't come from a pleasant background. All of them are orphans. Yeah. Many of them live in places that couldn't even feed them once a day. So if Stop had an interview, their future would have been... Well, that's why I think the YTDI has potential, you know? Yeah, indeed. It's pro it provides its trainees with housing, a community, a secure life. And by giving them a secure life, the YTDI will prevent future crimes. So in the long term, the YTDI will contribute to stop race on the trial. What? To stop race on the trial, not stopping race on the trial. Exactly. In the short term, we are changing this journey's life for the better. Still, seeing children receive cybernetic enhancement. That just don't sit right with me. I understand. You don't want to be remembered as the mother of cyborg children, do you? I don't have anything to say to that. She's spot on. We don't do anything here for fickle reasons. Subjects are only ever cybernetically enhanced if we feel that their quality of life could be improved. That's very vague. Hmm. That finally saw all those photos. Every one of those children were physically disabled. Yeah, so. But I saw there was a blonde. Training 02145, I remember. Ah, this is definitely you. An of an ophthalmia. Her poor vision caused her to struggle in class, so we gave her a new eye. Now her essays are on par with some of the top students in her, students in her squadron. Is, is that necessary, though? I, I see. Some of the Chinese came here with congenital defects. Other with injuries from horrible accidents. We've only ever used cybernetics to level the playing field between them and their adult squad mates. Ugh. My shoulders feel lighter. Oh, why? My brow and furrows. And furrows. I'm relieved to hear that. And I'm relieved to know that my legacy hasn't been completely tarnished. It's it probably is already, Angie. I mean, D, you just didn't realize it. Because you're too. What was that sound? It's a bit to realize stuff. I want you to know, if you have any concerns, you can always come and talk to me. Or just van if it's after hours. Haha, <laughs> so see Baka. I almost feel like all times. Yeah, we're practically kids again. Hey, wanna come to the arts and craft room? Wait, isn't it for trainees? So, most of them are in their rooms right now. Even if that's true. Howdy. I'm not expecting the next cloud get or anything. It's just to decompress. Fine. I'll come. 
Yes. But in return, I get to pick the restaurant for dinner. Ah, so we're eating out again. Just like old times. Heh. <laughs> Just like old times, isn't it? August 13, 2007X. Ah, okay, the computer. Oh, we can select anything, I guess, in this part. Uh, the computer. No, you know what? This unimportant stuff first. Kiss a report. 8 for 2007X. Like our conversation with CO458 continued. Contrary to what I have witnessed while observing his classroom, CO458 have been inquisitive and willing to cooperate with my study in our one on one interaction. It's my firm belief that CO455 intelligence is not below the norm. Rather, the teaching method used the YTDI are insufficient to engage him. What in his instructor have labeled as acting out appears to instead merely be an expression of boredom. Considering the number of children the YTDI have has under its roof, it's, I do not believe that CO458 is the only trainee having difficulty with their assignments. I have noted that his squad instructor rarely encouraged creative solution to exercise and instead prefer compl completion of the task to set group. To set up rubric. Standard based teaching method often produce results that look good on spreadsheets, but they rarely result in a significant information retention or well developed critical thinking skills. On top of this, children with learning, with learning disorder are often left behind. What worries me is that CO458 and takes often result in his entire class being punished for his action. The intent behind this measure is to em emphasize that the squad is the unit, a failure in one member's part reflects on them all. Perhaps this is a successful su 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 successful in our squads, but in CO458 case, all they seem to have, to, to have managed to do is to do is order him from his peers. Dr. Dader is strange. Later, did you censor anything from your talk with Ton? From what I can read, she's from from Anas. And she's in some jail. She's a brilliant scientist and a dear friend. I just need a little more time to get her on my side. It's been three months. When I said she was rigid, I wasn't kidding. But you know, talking to her made me think. If we rebuild the YTDI from the inside out, it could be a net positive for children everywhere. Oh ho ho ho. Four months ago, you were afraid the YTDI would leave you with a full legacy. That your cybernetic research on cybernetic sing rates would make you the mother of cyborg children. Now you want to rebuild the YTDI? If they get rid of the cybernetics, I'm confident that stuff could turn the YTDI into a competent institution. Or what? Making a child soldiers? Competent institution don't fit kid lab scripts. I'm not going to burn everything down for a better future. It's not incompatible with what you want, Iris. Oh, oh, is that how it is? Think, Daedra. Sub is a security organization, not a charity. They have a piece of mind for sale. They do anything to keep world leaders lining their pockets. Why else would they be enhancing children except for their own benefit? They only give cybernetics to physically disabled trainees. Oh! Out of the strain is ask for them. This argument is unproductive, Iris. No, 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 you're, uh, you are you are being unproductive. You're coping a lot. Look, let's say the YTDI was shut down tomorrow and like, like you clearly want it to be. Where will all the trainees go? Who else will have the resource and the will to take them all in? Something else, definitely not this. Stop didn't make the YTDI with kind intentions. I can't tell you that much. Don't be so conspirational. Don't be so blind. Your research built the foundation for these programs. I know. Let's speak up. No, I don't think I will. Huh. What's this? August 12, 2007X. I wasn't prepared for the number of trainees who were happy to be at the YTDI. The number of trainees who were just overjudged just because they had clean clothes and sheets. And money doesn't necessarily buy quality, but stop really isn't chipping out on their school and boarding. They're practically throwing money at this program, even if staff sometimes treat their trainees carelessly. 
The trainees are given a rigorous curriculum of math literally literacy, physical education, and self-defense. But the instruction is cold. I'm not a teacher, but I know that I only learned to love science because a physics, te physics teacher told me I'd be a good fit for her club. If she hadn't shown me personal attention, where would I be now? No amount of punishment could have made me Dr. The Strange. Uh huh. This is new, I think. One time I watched Theo for Wade in a squadron lineup to receive the result of a grammar quiz. It wasn't hard for me to guess how well it trained did. Some shit away from their squad mates. Other threw their heads back in relief. But when C0458 arrived at the front of the line, Did you another makeup quiz? But I studied really hard this time. Not hard enough, I'm afraid. The quiz will start the time I wrote. See you then. No, 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 no. That's gonna get in the way of my crafting time. Why can't it be? There's no point in throwing tantrum. You're going to take the makeup quiz at the time is set, whether you like it or not. Now go. It's true to hold up this rest of your squadron. Two. Oh. <gasps> Again? Oh, interesting, interesting. I've seen, I've seen. Uh, okay, so the different form of this game is Mario Cactus, right? And they reference this part in one of their tweets. They said, uh, "You will find this in like Malva in Part of Violence." And I was like, "What? When did we discover this in Part of Violence?" Because I played the original game, and there's no scenes like this, as far as I remember. But in Definitive Edition. Oh no. Alright everyone. 10 minutes penalty. Line up against the whiteboard. Quietly. CO458. Yeah. He'll be in the middle. No! Puffle is turning to ghost. Again with this, huh? As CO4 of Hedrick his feet to the front of the classroom, I watched the other trainees. Some of them rolled their eyes at him. Others gave him a bitter glare. Given the way the teachers spit the trainees against CO4 of Hedrick, I wasn't surprised they disliked him. To them, he was a date weight to their squadron. An underperforming troublemaker. And to me, he was. Seeing no one help him left an indescrib indescribable emptiness in my chest. Children like him aren't dumb. If you treat them this way, they'll learn that their performance determines their worth as a person. I've known college students who found that the level of responsibility overwhelming, but these trainees are elementary schoolers. They need coaching to get things through them. Frankly, I'm surprised they earn more struggles. I acknowledge that what EDA is a new program and STOP isn't an educational program. Organization. Growing pains are far from hard for the coders. Angie's been listening to my criticism. She's not stonewalling me, but she's defensive and practiced at it. She's always ready to fire off at statistic in response. All of the trainees were early trained before they came here. Now, 98% are performing above metrics. Meanwhile, when I ask about my own suggestions for the YTDI, she claims they are in the queue to be heard. That there is a long chain of coming to go through. She's listening to me. Is she? Is she, though? <laughs> Except when it comes to the use of cybernetics. And she says they are helping disabled trainees, but she brushes off their side effects as easily as if we were discussing French jurors in the classroom. And whenever she does, I can help but wonder. How are those trainees coping with technology crafted to their bodies? Did I ask for the en these enhancements? 
Do I want my search to be associated with these procedures? Well, I'll try to be patient with NG for now. Convincing people take time. Takes time. Besides, the YTD has other problem. Well, you're trying to convince NG here, which takes four months. Uh, a lot of children has lost their limbs and stuff like that, which is cool, Data. Cool. The train is slipping in a panoptical. No matter where your rooms are, there will be guards and cameras spring inside. The games book and show they have access to are limited in their themes. And I've seen more than one train turns up whenever I pass by their dorm's window. I'm sure the staff are miserable too. The guard, it's their meal where they're on duty. The teacher's curriculum are string in. And it's a wonder the researchers can see their screen when they blindly ignore what's in front of them. If someone sits on boarding school division or G or OTC program, more power to them. I don't know what that means. But I wish the YTDI wouldn't be so cavalier with cybernetics. Overbearing with security measures. Draconian with education. I don't know. The more I think about it, the less I want to write. I hope NG was right about my suggestion being in the queue. I have this dreadful feeling that change can come soon now. D. Oh, oh, D. Oh, oh, coping so hard, aren't you? Okay, last one. Interview with CO458. August 13, 2007X. Yes, indeed. Oh, the video camera wasn't on. <laughs> cool. Oopsie. Yes, the world will never know the results of our Grand Scrattle match, huh? It's quite a shame. Your skills have improved tremendously. Oh, I lost again. Well, um, I was a Scrattle champion. He just learned the rest rule sets a couple of weeks ago. Hmm. I mean it. You are very good. I think you could go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shreya now. Aha! Uh -huh. Happy foolish adults finally revelated my reading ability! Oh wait. I don't think Shreya knows how to play Scrattle. For the teacher. From what you told me, I think she also make a wonderful player. Maybe. I just... I don't know if... If I'll have time, you know. What do you mean? Did, um, did something happen? Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Okay. So my teacher asked me to stay behind in class. I thought he had spotted me during game, but... He told me I didn't have to study anymore because one of the researchers had told him. That's strange. What did they tell him? Well, they said... I'm gonna go through my first processing. Processing? What is that? I don't know. None of us know. I mean, I knew that everyone gets processed eventually. And that process trainees graduate. And that when you graduate, you'll leave the initiative. That's rather vague. That's what I see. They must be hiding something. I... I don't know what's gonna happen to me. When I think about it, at night I can sleep. It makes my skin all prickly. But you know what? You wanna know what's really strange? None of my squid mates are getting processed with me. Is that unusual? Yeah. We only see other trainees leave for pressing in groups of three or three or four. Never one. C O four five eight I. I'm not foolish. I know why I speak. It's because I did it in class. Oh, because I forget my homework. Because when it's time for group projects, none of my schedules want to work with me. And because whenever I try to talk to someone, 
LSX attire. My squad are training even my teachers. I know they want me process. I sense it even when they don't speak to me. Because they all hate me. I don't think that's true. Shia doesn't hate you. She's in a, she's in a different squad. She doesn't have to be around when we me when we do class. If she was always getting punished because of me, well, I like you too. How about that? Yeah, you're saying that because of your case study thing. No, no, I mean it. You're a talented artist. Your excitement is infectious. You're much smarter than people give you credit for. And I think you're lovely just the way you are. Indeed. Can I ask you something? Go right ahead. Could you? Could you visit me as soon as my, my first processing is over? I. Of course. I mean, make it so you require it. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. And if you break your promise. Hmm. You can, um, break my finger. <laughs> huh? Really? No, no, that's not how it... Please don't. But I will come back for you no matter what. Yeah, coming back when it... It is way too late in... Daedra? Promise indeed. August 29th, 2007. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's new. Any commentary isn't on this time. And a uh, paper is covering the coffee right there. That's interesting. August 20th, 2007. X. Where could CO458 have gone? The security board told me that it will be at least another week before your turn. Of course, they didn't mention anything about processing. Processing. It's unscientific, but it could mean practically anything. And it, if it happens to involve cybernetics. Now, there's only so much they can do before puberty. It should be minor. Maybe even... Why am I still trying to rationalize this? That effort to stop and all its excuses, despite having to prove right in front of me. They want to use my research to modify children. Why? I don't know, and frankly, it doesn't matter. And uh, why did I really was serving the greater good? Why have Angie and her co worker acted so evasive? So secretive. I can't afford to be humble or gracious or cowardly anymore. I know more about cybernetics than every other researcher in their department put together. And yet, I allowed myself to be caught. I acted respectably. I never caused a scene. Because I cared much more about abusing stuff than doing the right thing. I can look away anymore so they shouldn't be able to either. I'll finish my reports. Trust it in their face. Qu what? Question mark? Makes them see what they were wrote. I'll be diplomatic even if it means biting my tongue. And I'll write this. Do you? All cybernetics have limitations. If so, CO4 is being modified, the most they could do is enhance his optic nerves. 
silly invasive and perverse but once he's in the order anesthesia and intense pd regimens it ultimately won't affect his daily life they wouldn't risk harming available young subject with anything more extreme how do they hopefully the worst will be over soon oh that's interesting would it cf458 still alive when he's gone through processing i'll make every effort to place him in an environment better suited for a child his age but first i think do you think of an appropriate recovery gift something i can fit in my lap coat pockets d this thing next it's a report 814-2007X, FICO study at CFR8 is on hold while the subject undergoes processing. Observation of CO458, former squad have continued in the meantime with little to report. With that CO458 presents classroom time is quite and proceeds evenly. Conductor sure refused with training is encountered. Anxiety about future graduation is high. Currently seeking clearance to visit CO458 in recovery. Will update after I had an opportunity to do so. Their data is strange. He's in processing. I won't get to see him for at least another week. I think there'll be more time. He's still so small. Is there anything you know about processing Iris? Please tell me I've suddenly skinned him. I'm sorry. I never saw oversaw any projects directly. By the time the OIDO is funded, I was already on the way out. Surely you have something on it, Iris. I know you keep tabs on everything. Not on this. Processing is kept under especially tight right side of YTDI. As you have guessed it, it is a step related to cybernetic enhancement, but beyond that... I should have done something. I should have used my authority and expertise to intervene before it was too late. Instead, I just stood by the sidelines. I never even raised my voice. I know I've been critical sometimes, harsh even, but I think this would have gone ahead anyways no matter what you did. Really? From my impression of these people, definitely. How encouraging. Listen, I was given a polite exit, but your name still carries weight at the stop. Your case study is compelling in detail, and I have no doubt the little boy is going to be more than happy to see you once again he's out of there. You just need to save your strength for the right time. And when that time comes, don't take no for an answer. Thank you, Iris. I just hope I'm not too late. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You're not late, huh? Hello? Interview with S1. Oh, Shri! Interesting, finally. August 20, 2007 X. Hello, Sri. How are you? Thank you for speaking with me. I'm sorry, by the way, about how sudden all of this is. It's okay. I can always do my homework tomorrow morning. So I might not finish before class starts. Ah, uh, your teachers already know about your interview today. They agreed to give you an extension. Ah! Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know they gave extensions. They never given them before. No. In my squad, um, we are supposed to move at the same pace as each other, like a flock of birds, right? So, for, so an extension for someone who falls behind is... From what your teachers have told me, you seem like the leader among your squadron. I get the impression that you didn't expect a misassignment to deter you. Does that make you feel better? Good. Then please introduce yourself. My name is Trainee S4174. You told me your name the first time we met. Why not now? 
I didn't want to see how far away Faith ain't to feel alone. I see. What was your life like before you joined the YTDI? Um, you don't have to talk about anything that makes you uncomfortable. You know, it's very far away from here. I see. Thank you. I'll move on. Question 2. Are you getting along with your squadron? Honestly, please. Honestly, I feel like I'm trapped inside a glass. My squad's mate sees me. They know I exist, but they don't know how to reach me. And to be honest, I don't know how to reach them either. It probably doesn't help that they're weirded out by my arm. None of my squad mates are missing anything. But that doesn't stop kids in other squads from getting along. Maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, Shri. Or maybe it's that lady. The one with the messy hair and the dangly earrings. You mean Angie. Dr. Tan. What does she likes to meet me after class and ask me how I'm doing with homework, have me write or carry things for a few minutes. Sometimes she'll take a roll of measuring tape and wrap it around my arm. Oh, oh, wow. And if I do well, she'll pat my hand and give me candy. I thought candy was particularly contraband around here. I didn't mean any any of that, but. But every time Dr. Angie takes me aside, she and my teacher tell my squad mates to follow my example. And I think some of them are jealous of that. And how do you feel about it? Sick to my stomach. I don't like working. I don't like being in the spotlight. They call me a hard worker, but I'm just trying to skip notice. Just trying to avoid arguments, fights, the other kids. But my squad mates drag me into their messes anyway. They want Dr. Angie's attention. They want to be praised. They want candy and they... They all want to be someone's favorite. My class scares me, Dr. Daedra. We don't have to talk about them anymore if you don't want to. Please. Well then, what do you think of CO458? CO458. I like him. He's my best friend. He told me the same thing. That's... That makes me really happy. When I first came to the YTDI, he was my assigned roommate. As soon as I entered my dorm, he marched over and swung his hand up to greet me. He had this big goofy grin in his face. Yeah. I've seen it before. Strangers that act friendly. Bad people with fake smiles that are trying to get something from you. And I didn't know what he wanted from me. So for the first few weeks, I tried to avoid him as much as possible. Finding a quiet corner in the library. Hiding in a bush in the middle of the courtyard. I thought he'd get tired of it after a couple of days. But somehow he always find me anyway. Terrifying. One day I couldn't say it anymore. So I just ask, ask him, why do you keep bugging me? And you know what he told me? What? 
what? What? Oh, oh, wait, there's a... I didn't see that. I didn't see we are supposed to press something. Silence. You look lonely. I want to be your friend. He wasn't hiding anything. He didn't want anything from me. Somehow I could just tell he was sincere. And that's how they became close. After that, I stuck with Sio for fight whenever I could. Playing games with him. Writing stories together. Sometimes we just sit in sounds and read books on the library. I have a lot, a lot. I have a lot to pa. Sio for fight. <laughs> Pavel, huh? Because I hate my dorms, the one place I don't feel like I'm walking on eggshells. But. Yeah. Is something wrong? The camera. Um. Uh, It's a standard model. Video but no audio. There's no need to worry. It wouldn't pick up anything we say. Really? But in class we've told they have microphones. Some of them do technically. But I mix them in range so it's only record poor quality sound. And since fixing poor sound is expensive and time-consuming, stop usually keeps the mic on. I... I see. D did you want to continue? I'm alright about CR458. You've been watching over- You've been watching over him, right? Yes. You've seen how they treat him in class? Yes. If you say a bad student, you'll get a nasty punishment. One that will change your life forever. That's what everyone whispers. When I first heard the rumor, I was terrified. I didn't want Steve for Vay to... None of her everything he did for me. So... I tried helping him after school. I taught him how to concentrate in boring class. Or fake it. We read the textbooks together. I even wrote him sheets of study notes. But no matter how hard he tried to get better, he kept getting picked on. Even though he was improving, they kept singling him out and... And then... And then he told me he was getting processed. Do you know what that means? No. But after he said it, he didn't want to look at me anymore. They took him away last week. Without him, everything is so quiet. He's not flipping through comic books or scribbling on his desk or imaging through my box of hairbands. Am I a bad friend for thinking that he's being punished right now? No. No, you're not. I... I wish I knew what to say. Aren't you the doctor? He, don't you know what's happening to him? I'm sorry. I'm as much in the dark as you are. But knowing CO458, I'm sure he'll be okay. He's a strong boy. You think so? I know so. He's the center of my case study after all. I hope you're right. 
I think I'll conclude our interview here. You look tired. Do I? Honestly, you look like you're about to fall asleep. Maybe. Will the parting gift help cheer you up? I have a pack of scented stickers. Here, choose whichever you want. Thank you, Ben. I'll be alright. You really done one one. I thought they were cool. Heh. Don't worry about me. Dr. Angie has me covered. Save them for, for Pavel. Yeah. He, he, uh, Pavel do need a lot of grip sticker later on, probably. Ah. Computer is on now. Interview with CO458. August 29, 2007 X. Hello. You look Can malnourished. CO four five eight. Indeed. I see you're back from processing. Doctor Deidre, you came. You sound surprised. I promised you a visit, didn't I? Yeah, but... It's been a real long week. Hey, I've seen that thing before, I think. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. The thing back there. I kinda wonder if you've forgotten. Ah, oh, interesting. I don't know if you all noticed it immediately, but... It, it's there, you can, you can see it later on. Never. The thing that I'm seeing right now? Um, what's it? This on the floor. Oh, it's just a puzzle piece. She was working on finishing it while I was gone. But when I was sealed back in, I got trampled, it got trampled on. She wasn't happy about that. I can imagine. Ahem, here. I get you something. I figured you need to pick me up after processing. Woohoo! Fred Gushies! Ah! There's some snacks from outside. I promise they taste nothing like script. I didn't know they made food so colorful! And tasty! Will I pick out something good? So, what have you been up to since processing? Just resting. Well, I'm trying, but Shri keeps bringing me classwork. I thought I didn't have to study anymore. That's very rude of him. I'm sorry, CR CO458. You know, I've been thinking. You don't have to call me that. You can call me Pavel. For the sake of the case study, I really shouldn't. Did you break protocol for the gummies? Hmm. Alright, alright. I'm sorry, Pavel. Hey, <laughs> much better. Is having a proper name important for you? Indeed it is. It's a big deal for you too. Not just anybody gets to call me by my true name. Oh. Yeah. It's like I'm letting you use it. You and Shri, no one else. You're my inner circle. You get to know my secret identity. Like a superhero, huh? Exactly like a superhero. Got it. I'll keep it hush hush then. Have you been outside this room since processing? No. When I said I was be better than earlier, I wasn't ex ex exaggerating. Hey, thanks. You've always got the right word for me. But yeah, being bedridden, it's really starting about me. It's like I've got a house cold. Puff. Even cabin fever. Whatever. They're the same thing anyways. Then what happened during processing? 
Well, it was like kind of getting my teeth clean. Oh, yeah, that's an understatement. That's an understatement. Like one moment I'm laying on this long hard table. I've got this big light over me. It kind of looked like a spider with a bunch of eyes and legs. All oh, those things. The light was super bright underneath, and I was surrounded by, surrounded by all these doctors in white uniform and masks. I was told to count down from 60 so I did it. But then I fall asleep before I could finish. And then I woke up and... Yeah. First you yourself if you noticed before, it was revealed. Um... What... The f what... What happened? Was there something wrong with your legs? Wrong? No. Nothing was wrong with them. But now they can give me better legs. You know, an upgrade. Better ones. One that will ride me around faster or jump higher. Like a real superhero, you know? Really, it's okay. If I just practice hard. I... I... I believe you, Pavel. You don't have to move. Please. I swear, Daedra, if you're still coping after this, I'm amazed. You're very brave. Do you know that, Pavel? Of course I'm brave. Brave like a hero, hey. Here. H here. I just under your pillow. Make them count. <laughs> I'll be back in a week. Promise. Yep. See? See you again, Dr. Daedra. I can't be a part of this. No one should be a part of this. It's not enough to eat. The fact that anything like this could happen in a modern facility. Maybe it was always naive to think that one case study could fix stop. But if so... What then? What now? Indeed, I wonder what you are going to do now, huh? Am I supposed to click or am I supposed to wait? I'm supposed to wait. September 9, 2007X. Oh, it looks rather dark here, huh? September 2007X. They took his legs. As if stripping him of his name was enough, they ripped his legs off of his body. Why? I can't think of any good reason for this. Pavel sunlight that he is said that he planned to give him better ones. He even tried to prove it in spite of the pain. And the worst part is, it's not over. He hasn't graduated yet. The last time I tried to visit him, he had been taken back into court for further processing. I had to find out from Shriya of all people. The guards barely seem to care. Asking about his absence was like asking about the garbage being taken out a day earlier. Someone else did the work, so I didn't need to know. They said all of this while looking at me with that expression they always wore on duty. One of malice, one of superiority, of contempt. Funny how they press the kids to be seemingly obedient while the adults look like bored children. When I entered the room, I noticed a distinct coldness in the air. She looked awful. Indeed. Has she been eating properly? She seems so frail. If she was taken to the operating table now, her chance of survival. I have to leave stop. And the YTDI has to go with me. I don't want this, any of this to be my legacy. Ha, I see. 
What's an academic supposed to do against an intergovernmental organization with elemental resources and an ever growing supply of cybernetic muscles? Uh, have you ever heard of? Never mind. Maybe I can follow Iris example. The case this case report will be in indictment of so. My voice should still carry enough importance to damn it on my way out of the door. But if I try to make an impact with my exit instead of living quietly, what will happen next? If I say any anything about those cages, the kids were kept in, the courts will bury me. And I have to hope that stop doesn't single me out extrajudicially. And if they do, I'll have to kiss my future academic opportunities goodbye. But so what? They can expect me to quit quite after everything I've seen. That one conversation with Angie still makes my blood boil. We were observing a physical education class. The kids were turned to told to run laps to the point of exhaustion. And knowing the YTDI, they probably were forced to run past that point for research purpose. While the teachers were attending them, Angie leaned over and whis whispered to me. Look at how strong they are growing. How they are smartest and tough as nails. Isn't it incredible? Then she looked at the back ranks and saw her. But there are still stragglers. Scythe. Gotta iron out all the kings eventually. After she said that, she turned back to me. You know, if that's going to enrolled in public school, some PhD teacher will be cuddling them by now. None of them would ever know what, how much they could achieve with just a little more pressure, with just one more push from someone who knows how much they can take. Back in school, I knew this kid. Born with a hole in their heart, maybe some large HD. They had it rough, but they preserved. They didn't pity themselves. Had pride. But the teachers ins insisted in calling them. Waiting on them hand and foot. Carrying their books, giving them extra exam time, letting them skip physical ed. The hearts on them let their condition define their life. By them, we graduate, I barely recognize him. Ended up more ghost than person. If I knew that, then what I know now, I wouldn't let them fail themselves like that. Does she think we are still friends? I've been speaking to her less and less. But now she's basically talking to herself. And I hate seeing her in her ugliness reared head. As soon as Pavel is healthy enough I'll, to graduate, I'll, I'll make my move. But I'm now living stop without him. D. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wait until Pavel graduate? Good luck with that. Yes, the report, 93-2007. I'm absolutely appalled but at the youth training and development initiative decision to perform major amputation on training CO458. Improvement in synchronization rates are irrelevant. This technology was only ever intended for use in adults, save for rare exceptions. The relatively static state of an adult body allows for easier construction of prosthetics, and only a mentally mature individual can reasonably be expected to endure the inev inevitable side effects of cybernetic implantation. Let me be clear. Rejecting systems are not a risk. They are inevitability. For all the advancements and advancement in biotech over the past few decades, there have been not enough to stop the body from revolting against artificial neurons when they are staged to its muscle, or from realizing that a hung of polyurethane and silicon in its skull is not part of its grain matter. Medication can suppress the body immune neural response and stuff of Caesar, but it, it is a patch, not a long-term solution. Despite this fact, co 4 of 8 was approved for a full transfemoral amputation and implant preparation procedure. I cannot conceive of a scenario that justified the callous removal of a two completely healthy limbs from a young child. The fact remains that co 4 of 8 life quality, quality of life has been significantly impacted for no reason beyond the YTDA goal. If this is the level to which the YTDA is allowed to conduct itself, then it is clear to me that stop has become a little better than our than the organization it once worked to squash. To quash. There is no theoretical threat or future crime that justify what I have witnessed. If this is what my research is not supporting, then I would rather have never pursued it in the first place. Dr. Dator is strange. Aha. Uh -huh. I've got my two weeks notice line up with Pavel's estimated graduations. The moment he's out of the system and taking him in and leaving. Smartest thing you've said in a while. Do you have any concerns? 
It's possible that they won't have even graduate. Promise for service rendered don't mean much to people who meet the children. And if my custody is half as explosive as I'm hoping it to be, it's not the kind of thing that stop will not circulate for long. There are plenty of people who they are out there willing to listen to you. Not after I slander an internationally beloved and fighting organization. We don't have friends in PR or allies in the media. It'd be easy to paint me as an artist current that former employee disappointed with the lack of direction in her career and looking for a book deal. Sorry, Deidre. I wish you could tell you that what happened. But even things even if things do go to shit in your end, allow me to give you a silver lining. When Pavel gets out and he will, you can bring him here. Aha, that place in Malviolence, Iris. Once upon a time it was a garage. Then it was an unrealized research lab with some living quarters. Now it's yours. It's not five star hotels, but it's not too bad this time of year. There's even a river nearby. I don't know what to say. You're... You're just giving that to me. What do you expect? I'm a wealthy woman with very few hobbies. I would have ended up renting it out if... If even remembered it was there. Sorry, what? If I even remembered it was there. Much better for you two to get some use of it. Thank you, Iris. I really mean it. I... I already owe you so much. Hey, the place isn't that big. I'll keep that in mind. You better. I don't want to hear any comments about it being crammed down the line. Perfect. Stay safe, Deidre. I'll try. Computer? Thank you. Question mark? September 9th, 2007X. Where are you running? Bloody! You know, it looks weird. Okay. There a fire drill going on? What? Oh no, I... I was just looking for Pavel. I can't find him anywhere. Pavel? Who's... Oh. CF458. Well, it's okay. I'm certain he's around somewhere. I mean, it's very safe here. It's not like he could just have wandered off. Or escape, huh? Of course not. And yes, it is very safe here. I just... I'm... What? I'm not convinced that any of this is necessary. You're talking about processing? For starters. The post office is never going to look pretty. You know that. No, no, not about that, you dingus. You've seen it thousands of times. On soldiers. Volunteers. Adults. Sign. You didn't see the place we pulled these kids out of. Filthy, overcrowded, underfunded. The fixel is very clean. And very well funded. Hey, two rights two what two wrongs doesn't make a right. What is wrong with you? I think you study critical thinking, huh? That doesn't make it right. Whatever your justifications are, I'm not sure I appreciate our tone. Yeah, because you're a fucking fool. We've been nothing but transparent media from the beginning. We've given you complete access to our building or resources. Even our subjects. I had to fight for you, you know. Then why wasn't I notified about Pavel's processing? Maybe you aren't on the right mailing list. There are no conspiracies here, D. You of all people had to, had to have known exactly what the initiative's goal are. NGI. Look, I'm not in the mood to argue medical ethics with you in the goddamn hallway. CF it's in recovery. He's fine. What? How? This isn't some big alley surgeon for higher operation. We know what we are doing. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, fair. You know what you're doing. You're harassing children, abusing children. Yes. Do you?
Uncle? Are you? Yep. Yeah, I feel like this is the best part of mild violence with how the art style changed as well. Your head. Your hair. Your eye. It's... Dr. Deidre? Pavel, wait. I've I've got you. Just stay right there. Has anybody in here take care of you? Oh. Well, I think so. She has been here at night a few times. Hasn't said much to her. I pretend to be asleep because I think she might be scared of me now. She's probably worried about you. I'll go talk and talk to her, okay? Okay. I really don't want to upset her. You don't have to worry about upsetting anyone, okay? You you haven't done anything wrong. How how are you feeling? I don't know. Hurt and weird. It's it's all right. I'm scared. My graduation is soon in. I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen. What else tell you to me? Just close your eyes for me, okay? Pavel. Ah, uh, he's asleep. They are, they are going to tear him apart, rearrange him, rearrange him again and again, and it's not just him. All the other trainees here, all the other children yet to come, over and over and over. And for what? This is my fault. My research laid the foundation for this. My reputation funded this. I let this happen. I did this. There has something has to be something I can do. Now I have to do something, something more than writing words on goddamn page. That's it. I'll break him out. Prevent him from graduating. And burn this program down to the ground as well. At this point this is a call for justice. It's just plain cause and effect. Uh huh. Seven number sixteen, two thousand seven X. Huh. Seven number nine, two thousand seven X. I'm going to destroy my life work. They'll have to update the textbooks. A small phone at the bottom of the page on the back of the index. Dr. Deidre destroying Deidre Strange went on to commit multiple terrorist acts. We in no way, shape, or form approve of her blah 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 blah. Fine by me, so long as they leave my name in. A curious kid might search for that crazy lady name on the internet. Find a case report written by her and give it a read. Better para who speaks the truth than a legend researcher who can stand to look at it. 
Oh, huh, yeah, indeed. And as as I walk through the way to the halls, my stomach drops and I never pass spots as spots all week. So the guards just in a run glow where are the kids they still they're still combat ready professionals. More than a match for little old me. If they ever catch on to my plans, they could drop me before I even enter the building. Funny. I haven't feared others being able to hear my thugs since I was in college. I remember feeling guilty when I learned about therm thermal runaway in lithium ion batteries. When I realized how easily this knowledge could be reapplied, I was convinced that there was something wrong with me. Maybe I was right back then. Compared to my usual work, making bombs is that simple. <laughs> yeah. I spent most of my time for learning how I space out the per fertilizer purchase. Looking back on it, smuggling pebble snake made for a fine trial run. I have a surefire proof that, proof that the guards won't check me. So why am I still, anx still so anxious? If it's not my legacy, and it's not the process itself. Am I afraid of what will happen to Fafel after all of this? I can house him thanks to Iris. I have money. I can cook. But there's still so much I don't know about Pavel. How much will I care for his medical needs? How will I educate him? Will freeing him doom him to a life in hiding? And Shreya. And there are children, and every other poor soul that been victimized by this program. Where will they go once I'm gone? Even if I could house them all, they wouldn't be free to leave. None would stop on their tail. I just have to move them from a spacious cell to, to a cramped one. A cramped one next to a river. Still. Oh, I never forget to myself if I left Bothe behind. My research led him to getting hurt. To him getting hurt. I won't let that happen again. I've done all the planning I can. For now, I think an eulogy to the life of service is, no, is in order. To my college, the good ones. I have been working from home. To the rest, you've got no right to complain about what comes next. And to stop. This is war. Plant any more seeds and I'll sell the earth. Yeah, don't do that, please. D. I mean, it's cool and all, but don't sell the earth. Really bad idea. Okay, then next. What? This? Here's the report. 992007X. Meet with CO4 via today. Engage in an oral conversation and activities with subject. CO458 began to shortly into the session, so the visit was cut short after, after about an hour. CO458 temperature and blood pressure appeared to be higher than normal levels during the visit, recommending an increase in immunosuppressant dosage. Recovery otherwise appears to be a pace with expected timer. Dr. Data is strange. Oh, it's a rather normal thing, huh? You're trying to cover up something. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I just want to get Puffle out. Aren't you doing precisely that? Yes. But there's going there's a growing list of asterisks. I can save the other children, the numbers just don't work. And how does that make you feel? Like garbage. Where will they go? They know nothing about the real world. It's hard tougher than you think. Not tougher than stop. You'd be surprised, they'll adapt. That doesn't make me feel any better. I doubt anything cold right now. What about a confession? I wanted all this. The recognition. The respect. The budgets. The pay. You know, before I came to stop, I took five internships in one summer. Barely got my food out the door before I did them to my CV and never looked back. And? We all do, that's the game we play. I like playing that game, I was good at it. And there's a sizable courtly portion of me that doesn't want to give it up. And do you worry about Dr. Tan and the rest? Despite myself, yes. That's just the kind of person you are. In case we don't get a chance to reconnect for a while. 
Let me say this. Even system falls apart eventually. But when? It's entropy, for spheres are natural and healthy. Stop is no exception. If people are horrified by your findings in your methods, that's where the best. They'll quit, they'll live in droves. And you have gotten them out of dark hole. And if I hurt people, then you'll just have to make up for it. And the kids, they'll be strong. Even if their new lives are kosher clean, they'll be lives that they choose to for themselves. Against that, no, that's not reassuring. I know. Very little is right now. You have a lot to answer for, D. You're already a history maker. From here on, I'm sure you'll be making history in a good way. Remember that when you eat breakfast with Pavel. Then, is this a goodbye? It has to be. But you'll be in my home. I'll be there in some way. In fact, there's the shit might still smell like me. Iris, gross. I thought I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> Damn. But you don't need me anymore. You'll do good. You always have. Thank you. Take care now. You are always my star pupil, Daidra. I'll trust you remember me as your mentor and friend. Hopefully when you return, you'll be fully bird watching. Goodbye. I'll miss you, Dr. Sai. Yep. There we go. Question mark, question mark. We are near, near the end of the game, by the way. December 19, 2007X. Wait, did, haven't we done this before? Wasn't it seven, September 19? Well? Uh, am I? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh. Good afternoon, Dr. Daedra. Feeling all right. Me? Huh. I, it take a lot more than this, too. It's okay. You can be honest. This year, your training not go well. It was... scary. Scary and confusing. Could you tell me what happened? What the training was like? Well, they've been running tests on the chip they put in my head. What the hell? When it turns on, it's... It's my, like, my brain squeezed into a box. Yeah, indeed. Or a minecart. Oh, damn. It can only go on the tracks. That does sound scary. Yeah. I had to do all this stupid ref reflex exercise. And after all that, they made me so mad probably in other damn stuff. All while they look at me over the cl their clipboards and the pads. And so far I've been doing so good. I was doing everything they wanted. Even when it felt weird. It felt like somebody was looking over my shoulder. Only that the shoulder wasn't there and that somebody was mean. And someone else was moving my body. Speaking for me. Sp like it wasn't my body anymore. I was just so scared. It was good or and stringent. Deep breath, Pavel. And, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I did something bad. I was upset. I couldn't help it. I couldn't... Pa Pavel? Pavel. Oh my god. I've got you, Pavel. I've got you. You're safe. I'm going to call emergency service right now. You'll be okay. I prom- Yes, yeah, about that. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. He's on his side. There's nothing in his way and I've set a timer for five minutes. I've done everything I can. But why isn't the emergency call button working? It worked for another trainee, I've seen it before. The maintenance system teams always check it. Is there something wrong with his... No. No. 
No, 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 no. They will then. They will. They will then dare. Of course they will dare. Dr. Deidre? Pavel? It's okay, Pavel. It's okay. I'm here. You had a Caesar. But you're safe and I've cleaned you up. It's okay. You have to calm down for me, alright? Yeah. You're going to make yourself sick. What? It'll be okay. It's over now. I'll make sure they won't hurt you anymore. I mean it. Oh, okay. 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 This shall be the last day after this, right? Interesting expression you made there. I gave Pavel a glass of water sip. His hands are shaking, so I held the water for him. After that, I'll help him in the bed. Take him in and wish him good night. Struck a little amount of hair life on his hand. Then I closed the door behind me and walked out of the room. The door behind me clicked shut. Silence. I don't have the words to describe what I just made next. But I don't need a 10 page paper to sum out how to feel. Discuss. They took away his medication. His medication. How in any world is that justifiable as a punishment? He could have died. Papa will get summer done because he sticks out, but any kid will do the same. If he's suffering like this, there's no doubt about a training star. I need to talk to Angie. Now. I can't believe she's overlooked this for so long. Before I leave for good, I need to look into her eyes and try to make her see. I find Angie at the bridge gazing at the courtyard below. She looked just like she did the first day I came here. She hasn't changed at all. As I approach, she turns to give me an unreadable look. For a moment, I barely recognize her. For a moment, part of me wants to believe she's someone else entirely. I imagine you're here to talk about CO458. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I pause. That was... unusually direct of her. What do you mean? It's the 21st century, D. We got cameras in every room. I suddenly remember Shreya. Her gazing up at the corner of the room. Her dark eyes white with fear. You were watching the whole time. She blinks. So you saw how I called for help. You saw him going to Caesar because he wasn't give, given his medication. We don't know that. 
Oh, no, Adrenus hate taking it. I'll put it uh, under it. That's bullshit and you know it. These are your precious test subjects. Invaluable truths of medical data. If you wanted, you could get a doctor to any room in this building in seconds. What are you suggesting? It's not a suggestion. It's not a suggestion. You are punishing him for what happened during his graduate training. There's a long silence. The tension in the air twists my stomach in knots. She's choosing her next words very carefully. Placing them in her mouth, rolling them around like a boiled sweet. Nostalgia laughs at me for a moment, a warm pull, med pull at the black of my mind. She has to do this before her research presentation. Wearing the inside of her cheek as she awaited my feedback. Maybe you're right. But does it matter, Dee? She doesn't look bad. Excuse me. Does what happened to CO458 matter that much? Once he passes graduate training, he's got a stable career set a hot head out of him. He won one, he won one for food, housing, or guidance. Yeah, definitely. Robot cannot, doesn't want those. Haha. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing. In exchange for his legs, his brain, his individuality. Individuality. What are you, teenager? Everyone's gotta grow up sometime. How about the other part, huh? I bet down my tongue. As much as I want to, cursing her won't get me anywhere. What's happening isn't complicated, D. Yeah, fuck you. You've gotten to attach to a subject of research. You know that side of your objectivity? That's all. Happens to the best of us sometimes. Oh, yeah, totally. Even you. She turned back to look at me, but she isn't seeing me. She's done talking. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are done talking here, then. Earlier in the day, I had printed to make a study. I needed to go through it with a red pen. That night, I felt ready to shred her page by page. Months of work, guns in moments. Now, why would you do that? Hmm. It was the best I felt in ages. October 1st, 2007X. In a matter of minutes, I'm going to burn down my entire career. Maybe it's fitting that the planning frame reminded me of how I designed my first cybernetic hand, linking each step to the next titanium phalange. While I filed my documents, I studied the blind spots in the security. I learned where patrols didn't fit sit as often and where security cameras didn't cover the whole room. I participated in fire drills to research for evacuation routes so that I could avoid them. Fighting back against the YTD electronic security was almost easier. Stopping rebel and terrorists back in sub Haiti has given me a healthy perspective on tech security. The NS signatures like the one attached to our keycards could be smooth. An electric clock was useless once you cut its power. As I went through every step, I expected someone to stop me. I got to catch a living package in the dark corner, or the laptop could find the files I was taking out suspicious. But no one noticed. Even when I slip into the security room to inject a fire in the air system, I told the staff I was doing an inspection. They looked the other way. Maybe they leave hand to mouth the leaves. Maybe they hate the Watidia as much as they do and want to see it burn to the ground. Whatever the truth is, I'm not interested in psychoanalyzing lower level stuff. I have one job and I intend to see it through. Yes, it did. Getting to Pavel will be simple. I'll enter his room through the small door in the back. No one will suspect me, they'll think I'm conducting another checkup. This is another inane interview to pad out my case study. Escaping will be a much more complicated task. The 
The security cameras are disabled. The safety alarms rewired. And the escape strode plotted. If things go pure shape, there's the pyrotechnics I set up ahead of time. But once I trigger a siren, I can predict who or what will get in the way. My heart's pounding perversely. My brain swirling with faces against countermeasures and backups. I'm painfully aware of every step and every breath I take. Because once I open the dorm room door, there's no going back. I still have a way out. I can leave this behind and go back to my old life. Cut ties with stop quickly. Retire quietly to a book like existence with honors and accolades to my name. Bury my regret and rage in the back of a well tended flower bed. And would you do that? But if I don't open this door, Pavel will continue suffering. He might not survive graduation. Even if he does, he'll become a nameless drone. A shell of a person marching through life armed with clockwork thugs and a plastic smile. I can abandon him. Not to that. Indeed. Havel? I'm gonna come closer, okay? Doctor... Deidre? Now listen to me carefully. I want to give you something. Oh. Wait, is it another snack? It's better. Why is Pavel name and Dr. Deidre name the same font color? Pavel, do you want control? Yeah. Control over what? Your future. I... I've never really thought about my future. Would you like to? Uh-huh. You can take your time. I understand I'm asking. Yeah. I do, Dr. Deidre. Uh-huh. I want control. Then take the switch and press the button. As soon as you do, you'll be free. Let's go. Yep. I take Pavel by the hand and gently get him out of bed. As his leg clicks against the tile, he wobbles. Do you need help? I ask quietly. We have a lot of ground to cover and every second's crucial. But if he's in pain... It's okay, Pavel responds. I can only take him some effort, but he grins up at me. What better way to get used to this leg than prison break? Despite everything, I chuckle. In between the pulse of siren, I can hear the hurried footsteps of staffers and trainees rushing down the hallway. I take his hand and we walk through the door I came through. Neither of us look back. The back hall of the dormitory is empty. The alarm light in the wall blinks and angry red as confused personnel jack pass us in their way to the emergency stairwell. We walk at first. I'll try to keep. Keep my hammering heart under control as we go around the hallway. We're still too visible. I can't help but imagine a security officer behind every door we pass. I squeal, squeeze my hands tighter and he squeezes it back. His steps are shaky. 
they shouldn't be. Those fools in processing couldn't even bother to calibrate the motor's drive. But he stables. And in spite of everything he's been through, he's keeping pace with me. Then I see it. An imposing door with a small blinking key reader beside it. An exit out of their dormitories. I said there are light operating facilities and engineering. Beyond that, the shipping and receiving bay, and further still the garage door. Or way out. Normally, this part of the facility would be swarming with initiative personnel. But with the alarms that triggered, all of them should have located the upper side of, side of the building. I didn't even see my card, the latch clicks open when I push it. Suddenly, my steps are faster. My heart beat louder. And before I knew it, I'm running. I felt trips in the first step and we nearly crashed into each other before he corrects himself. But we ran hand in hand past the operating rooms and the office and the open security shutters until, with a warning puff legs buckle, they crumple under him like wet papers and him sprawling. I fell to my knees beside him and struggled to pull him upright. But what's happening? Puffel asked. I can answer him. My eyes go to his legs. The lights are still on, the battery hasn't run out. But they are not responding to him. I can see him trying to move what left of his legs and the cybernetic just won't react. My, my eyes fell on the sub logo at his ankle. I look up at the shutter we just passed and the security camera blinking beside it. Shit, I breathe it. I breathe. The Dr. Deidre? I almost want to laugh, even as my mounting panic regions overtake me. And they have measures. They didn't want anyone taking stops properly outside of the building. I can hear yelling echoing back down the hallway, you came through distant but growing louder. They know where we are. What, sh what shall we do? Pavel asked, his voice wavering. Dr. Deidre, I didn't want them. Sit still. Quickly, I moved to do just his legs. I left him on the ground, sweep him onto, onto my arm and ball. He clings to me, his fingernails digging into my back through clothes. His left arm dangles out of my grasp. He's light, far lighter than he should be. As I ran for the exit, I squeeze him as close as, to me as I can. A security shadow suddenly stops shot in front of me. I turn to Bevo. But more come down every door in the hallway, falling into place heavy as tombstones. Damn it, damn it! I bend back a scream, try to focus on facts. Security set my back. I can hear them getting closer. Combat boots on tile, heavy and hurried. With every second I sit here, panic and paralyzed, they stumble closer to us. I squeeze my hand shut. I can feel cold steel gun barrels at my back. Cuffs. Bindings. Straight jackets. Half a rip away from my arms. Disposed of as defective goods or reprogrammed into an ideal product. I can bear the thought. I reach into my lab coat. Pull out a second switch. And press it. The explosion leap through the hall with a force unlike anything I felt before. They tear through the shutter, blasting me with heat and smoke in the breeze that nicks my cheek. I ran right into it as more and more explosions go off through the facility, my hidden bombs going off like exothermic dominoes. A burst of red and blinding heat shears my right side, probably scattering sharp now. I push through the pain, running as fast as I can. My ears ring. My muscles screams. My throat stings. All that there is heat and ash and pain. Until finally. We reach the light. <laughs> I still okay, yeah. I still can get how goofy looking the building behind us is. Ah. <sighs> 
Ha. Ha. I. Wow. I. I can't believe I actually made it. Pavel. I think we are. Pavel. Pavel. Oh god. Your. Your arm, it's. It's just another Sunday. It's all. Pavel, please. Speak to me. Well. What? The sky. It's so... Lil. I haven't seen it in so long. You're... You're hurting. Please don't push yourself. You're already bleeding so much. Mm. But I'll live. This... I'm no longer there. I'm free now, aren't I? Yes. Yes. You are. Director Mado, writing Mado, Brian Mulholland. She said, FB Fish Lab, Lilith Chambers. There's like six people writing them. Editing Brian Mulholland, author, thanks. Programming, Smack Kick you Dev. Editing what? Exact. Art and UI, oh, editing the text. Mado, Reina, Spice Case, Spice Case, oh, whatever. Music, Melody, Doran. Voice casting, Bebe Fabacher. Voice over, Deidre, Wayne Vox, Pavel, Adoxographist. Auto mastering in SFX, DeRay, Holy Assurance, Clunis, with Brian, whatever production, Hades Town. Special thanks, Demoka, Stofu Rocks, Watson, Grusoa, and PCKT, Leo Red, Knight, and The Assans. And that's the end. We can check extra for a few little details. But oh, I press exit. Uh, let's let's analyze the game, shall we? It's a very interesting narrative experience, especially talking about. I guess we can take three things of what it's trying to talk about. First, Abel Abelism. Obviously, second school, and third, probably fascism. Yeah, there's probably more topics that can be delved from the story, but but that's like the three main big things that I can think of available there. It's a yeah, it's a very interesting experience at the beginning. This is definitive edition, and I've played original edition, so comparatively, definitive definitive edition. Yeah, it's better. I love it. it. There's a more extension, especially on Shreya, which I feel is needed. But it still feels lacking, unfortunately. Uh, I, I don't think like I don't think there's much difference from the uh, original and the uh, definitive edition. I should check the extra. Though. There's extra. Maybe, 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 maybe I will get more information from there. I'll say yes. That's my name, Taro. And so, in case I didn't. Make you all see it back then. There we go, extras. Yes, vote 11? Was there a number? Oh, yeah, because it changed since, isn't it? 
Why is it? Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, anyway, it takes so long to do that. Music, there we go. Oh my god, developer notes. Well, let me continue to do a little bit review of the game. So, yeah, narrative wise, it's cool at the beginning. It's not uh, very uh, same like the original, it's not very interesting, you could say, because especially, especially with the how the background and everything the background just doesn't feel like it's matching the art or anything it just feels empty most of the time like i never tried, tried to convey a lab or something but uh, yeah at the same time it just feels very plain you know you know uh but other than that like the story is good other things are great like after we can get through the first part, we can like slowly ramp up into the middle and then of course the ending, which is very good. And now let's read the devil burnout, shall we? Man, what can I say about the development of part of violence? Once again, this was a super ambitious project I made for a game jam in May very first spin off an original work. If you told me at the start of this year that I put two games related to caution, well Pavel here and Dr. Danger, I will never believe you, and her here we are. A massive, massive thank you to the incredible to everyone who worked on this project beside me. You are all incredibly talented people, and your efforts have led to this game being as good as it is. I really could not have done this without you. And another massive thank you for to the player for picking up this special novel and reading it. If you already played Mal Violence, I have part of violence with your appetite. Since Mal Violence itself is pretty light on, on story, if you haven't, why not give Mal Violence a try and to see what happens to D and Pavel in the future? Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, this brought another point, which I could compare to Proto-Violence and Mal-Violence. Uh, Proto-Violence is... St Story-wise, better than uh, Mal-Violence. Mal-Violence, uh, it tries to do something funky, I guess, with all the puzzle and stuff, which is, hey, to show, like, hey, this caution, Pavel, is a, an amazing super villain. Woohoo, look at all the puzzles we need to do to solve, which is, okay, that's to me. However, most of the times, I, even after reading Part of Violence, there's not much things I can take from the puzzle. The puzzle just feels empty. It just feels like a disconnected mini games that I don't know the connections to the whole storyline in, in either in Malviolence itself or even in Part of Violence. Even if we go deeper in the story, only some of the puzzle are feel like. They are very narrative uh, impacting, but then again, but after that, like, it doesn't do much as well, even with that. Like, for example, the Panoptican thing, okay, that's kind of good, but it only covered superficially, even in Proto Violence. In Mild Violence, it doesn't really get explained, but you can get the feeling that, oh, okay, there's a Panoptican there. It's nice, but not enough. There's also the puzzle with a bunch of connecting children and limbs, which is, okay, that's great, but. We don't know the connection of it narrative-wise, like, okay, why, why is this? We know this happens, but where are they in the story, y you know? Like, even in Proto Violence as well. Okay, so yeah, let's continue uh, reading this. Why not give Malvolence a try and see what happens to the NFL in the future? Yes, now to go and grab some sushi as for dinner as a treat. Thank you for playing, Mado, director, CG artist, writing. Why are you so tiny? I had a blast kind of reading the script, the whole team put their all into this project and show. Thank you so much for playing, Ryan Mulholland, writing. This was the first time I ever had a position as an assistant writer, and I'm very glad it was with this project. There's an amazing team of talents here, and a very coherent manager to tie it all together. For what my input is worth, I hope you're enjoying the dialogue. She said, writing. Somehow, all of these words I've written over the past month have ended up in the video game. How did this happen? But seriously, it was incredible watching the song come together. The entire work, team worked really hard to put the story together, from the writing to the art to the sounds to the coding, so I hope all of our effort was worth it. Thanks for playing, FB Fish Lab. Writing. It is worth it. This is my first time being bought in the project like this, and I can say in, in a, enough just how honored I am for the opportunity. I really hope I was able to bring some horror to this spooktober. Lady. Thanks again for play having me in such a great, talented team in the chambers. Thank you for playing and loving our collective son. Please spoil him who sent it to Seekers, Gummies, and Gummies. Spec programmer. Just because they are in a puzzle this time doesn't mean this game will go easy on you. My fields are in shambles. Thanks. That being said, congratulations to everyone, team, and thank you for playing. Kigio Dev, programmer. 
Thanks again for having me as a UI designer. The whole team worked really hard and I hope you enjoyed Heart of Violence. Peace like out, yes? Thank you for playing. Working on this project was a great experience, Reina. What can I say except leading Moju? Hmm. Vine Fox. Thank you for having me on board as the voice of Pavel. I was excited and honored to be a small part of Cushion Story. It was really incredible watching the game to come together from the silence and how smooth and organized everything seems. I hope you enjoyed the game and please listen carefully. A lot of great work when the game sounds amazing. From music to sound effects and mastering to directing and voice acting. Yep, it does sound amazing. Thanks for playing at Oxographics, Pavel VA. All is fun to compose for a character that's evolving. Trying to represent its current stage in life comes up as an interesting challenge that I want to do. Hope mine and Melody's music will make you feel inside the story. Doran, music. Ah. Brothers and we're later making king and queen of electronic pianos and nothing will tell me otherwise. Nonetheless, it was great to be back to Gumbas for our favorite little evil guy. Hope you all enjoyed the story and music we got in store for you all. Thanks for playing. Melody, music. Thanks for play playing, dear players, and thank you, Team Malviolence. Members are only about the past, the present time will never last. The future lies within your heart. D-Ray, audio mastering, sound effects. Okay, cool. Pavel, before becoming caution, cut my life to pieces. This is my last resort. Thank you for the wonderful beta testing opportunity. I hope to be there for any other violence or scheme that is one that team put out. Dear reader, pay attention. There's a lot of rich joke in the series of stories. Give them some serious consideration. Yep, can you skip testing? Thank you, Deidre, for Deidre, for traveling to the past and getting revenge in the mall violent panopticon for B. Dearly, Bra we Brian cautions official unofficial. First lap red, two jumps running. Okay. I just want to put caution on top of his head now, please, and give him a cookie or something. He is down, cure testing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this is like an appeal to emotions, you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I really want to kick uh, caution sass in malviolence, but yeah. I thought Malvalence got me in the fields before, but damn, did Project Violence go hard at some points. I guess it makes sense since now you're seeing so what the DMs did firsthand instead of indirectly. It's a big honor to have taken every minor part in helping something this intense on its way to the audience, even even if the build was actually already in good condition by the time I got it. Whatever production, skill testing. Yes, I sure hope the last line won't blow up on my face in real estate. <laughs> PPS. Pavel needs a hug. PPPPPS. Micro Sam or self voicing fame needs acting lesson. Fame? Okay. Thanks to everyone who played and who worked on Prevalence. I'm honored to have contributed to a small part. It's an exciting and thoughtful story, so please take some time to sit with it. Altering skill testing. Interesting. 30 days. Back then, actually, like the original version. This is the definitive edition, which I've been worked further on. Okay, so, like I said, I've already. Down my view and I've already done anything. Uh, there's not much else so I can tell about the game except, yeah, it's it's nice. So I guess that's all for part of violence. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video. Bye bye.